Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here or Luna. So today's story time, in my opinion, is a pretty crazy one. Probably one of the crazier story times on this channel. But before I jump into it, I just want to say new merch drop is live right now. It just came out today. This is one of the dopest drops I've ever done, in my opinion. I know I say that every single drop, but I mean... Just look at this. I think it's sick. I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can check them all out. If you like anything and you want to cop something, I'll put it first link in the description. If you do cop anything, please tweet me on Twitter or tag me on IG. I'm going to be trying to follow back as many people as I can. I want to try and follow everybody. Although that may be impossible, I'm going to try. And also, if you do buy anything, make sure you join my Discord server and message a moderator with your proof of order because you get a special role and that role gives you access to a secret text and voice channel. And I join that voice channel all the time and I'm going to be in the text channel as well, just trying to talk to you guys every single day. So yeah, make sure you join my Discord server as well. I'll put that second link in the description. Go check those both out if you'd like. I appreciate y'all. And also, I have new music dropping very soon. I've been getting tweets being like, yo man, I see all this new merch and I see all these videos, but like where the hell's the music at? I'm working on a project. You guys are going to have new music very soon. Ever since Butterfly came out, I've been just working on this whole full-length project. So you guys are going to have multiple new songs very soon, I promise. I can't promise an exact date yet, but I can promise this. It's not going to take more than one more month. So you guys are going to have multiple new songs, many new songs, very, very, very soon. I'd say about a month from now. And let me tell you, this album's fire. Can't wait to share it with you guys. But anyway, today's story time, let's jump into it. Today's story time, in my opinion, is a pretty crazy one. I just want to start this off by saying, uh, don't go to school and fight. I'm gonna get the moral of the story out of the way first. Moral of the story is, don't be like this girl that I'm about to talk about in this story time. Definitely not a good idea. But yeah, today's story time topic is uh, high school and a fight that I witnessed that was not like any other fight. It was an insane one. And specifically, it involved two girls, but not just two ordinary girls, a girl and a teacher. Yeah. Let's just jump into this. So this story time takes place in ninth grade. Yeah, ninth grade. It all starts off as a normal morning. I'm sitting in class, first period, just doing my work. And you know, like any other school day, I was tired as hell in the morning, just very low energy, wanting the day to go by faster. And on this day, we had a substitute teacher, okay? And she was a girl. But the thing about this substitute teacher is I could tell immediately that she took no shit. Like a lot of the time when a class gets a substitute teacher, they kind of just like dick around in class and not take it seriously because they think that they can't get in trouble. This lady was a different type of substitute. Like I could just tell she took no bullshit. Like if anyone messed around with her, she would not hesitate to throw their ass into ten. So I just kept my mouth shut because I was kind of on thin ice at this point It was my first year of high school and I got into a little bit too much trouble than I would have liked to that year So yeah, I wasn't trying to get in any more trouble because if I did I might get moved to another school So yeah, I was just trying to be good that class and you know not get in any trouble and then this one girl walks in late to class She was 20 minutes late. She walks in and let's just call this girl Victoria, okay? Victoria had an attitude on her. Every single day, whether it was a substitute or a regular teacher, she was always mad mean to them. She was kind of mean to everybody. I remember one time I tried to borrow a pencil from her, and I was like, hey, can I borrow a pencil? And she turns around, gives me an absolute death stare, and then just laughs in my face and turns back around. Like, what kind of evil shit is that? It's like she's a Marvel supervillain. So anyway, she comes into class really late, and the substitute goes, who are you? And she goes, my name's Victoria. And she goes, well, you're late, Victoria. And Victoria goes, I don't care. And Victoria just sits down at her desk and pulls out a bagel from her backpack wrapped in foil and starts eating it. And I'm thinking to myself, like, where the hell did she just get a bagel from? Like, she really just spawned a bagel. Anyway, the substitute teacher walks over to Victoria and goes, what did you just say to me? And Victoria goes, I don't care that I'm late. Now get the fuck out of my face. And the substitute goes, what did you just say? And she goes, you heard me. I'm not repeating myself. And this substitute was not having it. She literally pulls a chair up right next to her, sits down, and looks her right in the eyes, probably like an inch away, face to face, and goes, how about I give you detention? Then we can spend some more time together eating lunch. And Victoria goes, well, if you give me detention, I'm not fucking going. And the teacher goes, yeah, you are. And they just start getting up at each other's faces and like yelling at each other. And then Victoria says, listen, you got two seconds to take two steps back. And if you don't, I'm swinging on you. And I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, is this really happening? Like, are they about to fight? This can't be happening. Like, no, like, this cannot happen. Like, it's 7 in the morning. It's way too early to be throwing hands at this hour. Like, way too early. Especially for teachers. Like, let the poor lady have her coffee first before you start throwing hands. Come on. I'm just kidding. Not a good idea to throw hands with a teacher ever. Anyway, the teacher doesn't back up. She gets closer to the point where they're literally touching faces. And Victoria just straight swings on her and hits her in the face. And in my head, I'm like, yo, this cannot be happening right now. And everybody jumps up out of their chairs and 
and runs up to the front of the room to watch what's happening. And yeah, a full-blown fight breaks out between Victoria and our substitute teacher. And I'm just in shock. I'm like, this is not okay at all. And immediately, as soon as the fight breaks out, everyone starts making a bunch of noise and like screaming and yelling. And one of the security guards in the hallway heard this. And we had our door open so he could see in the classroom. So he runs in immediately and starts breaking up the fight. But the problem was, is it was one security guard and two girls fighting. So it took him a lot of force to break them up. It took him probably a good 30 seconds to get them separated. So that entire time, they were basically fighting like with him in between them. It was just the most like insane situation. So anyway, the security guard breaks them up, but it doesn't end there. The whole time they're broken up, they're cussing and screaming at each other from across the room. And I'm just thinking to myself like, yo, how is this happening right now at seven o'clock in the morning? Like, how are these people not tired? Like, if someone tried to walk up on me at 7 in the morning and try to start a fight, I'd be like, hey, man, like, can we get a rain check on this? Can we do this later today? Like, I'm really tired. But nah, for real, it was way too early to be fighting. So anyway, they get broken up. They're screaming at each other. They're cussing at each other. And one of the principals walks in, the vice principal. And she's like, what's going on? And I'm like, uh, there, there was a fight. And she goes, with who? Like, it wasn't obvious. Both my substitute teacher and Victoria had the most messed up hair ever. But I point to both of them, and I'm like, yeah, it was Victoria and the substitute. And my vice principal goes, the substitute fought? I was like, yep, she did. And she goes, really? I was like, yep, I'm just as shocked as you are. And she goes, okay, we'll get back to work. So I sit back down and I go back to doing my work, just, you know, minding my own business, you know, being unproblematic. And the vice principal brings the substitute teacher and Victoria up to her office so they can go talk about what just happened. And she leaves us with the security guard in the room just to monitor the class for the rest of class. And yeah, since he wasn't a teacher... He was like, yeah, uh, just stay quiet, go on your phones or something, listen to music. Like, you only have a little bit of class left, so, you know, just relax for the rest of it. And yeah, so everything after that was a pretty normal day, but I find out the next day that Victoria got two weeks of suspension and the substitute could never work at our school again. I don't know if she wasn't allowed to work at other schools as well, but I know for a fact she couldn't work at our school anymore because I talked to a teacher that knew about it. But yeah, moral of this story is uh, don't swing on your teachers, and uh, if you're a teacher... Uh, don't get up in your student's face and touch their face with yours. That's not a good idea either because some students have, you know, very, very, very bad anger issues like Victoria. But yeah, guys, I thought the story time was insane and I thought you guys would enjoy it. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did enjoy the story time, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. And feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And yeah, if you want to check out my new merch, I'll put that first link in the description. And please, if you do buy anything, make sure you tweet me on Twitter or tag me on IG. I want to try and thank as many people as I can. But anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for watching today's video. I'll see you all later. Peace out. Like, what's up? They leave me out for the dead and now they know